before LeVar Ball would become one of the most talked about names of the 2017 NBA season due to his outlandish remarks. For LeVar would father three sports prodigies, Lanzo, LiAngelo and LaMelo, who all play ball for UCLA at the time of this recording. For LeVar Ball would face criticism from LeBron James, Charles Barkley and even Dennis Rodman. For the hashtag LeVar Ball says would blow up on Twitter and LeVar would become a popular meme. Before LeVar would jumpstart his own merch line for his boys, Big Baller Brand, and include a line of shoes with a price tag of $495 a pair. My brothers and I always talked about playing in the NBA one day. We always talked about having our own signature shoe. It was about dreaming big back then. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player to ever play the game, except for LeVar Ball, according to LeVar Ball. Outlandish statements including his claims that he would have killed Michael Jordan on a one and one back in his heyday have brought a ridiculous amount of attention to the basketball dad. His attention grabbing tactics have paid off with everyone trying to figure out if LeVar can back up his claims. He did get signed to the NFL but never played an actual game. He did play basketball but the supporting video evidence of him playing a pickup game back in 2002 shows that he certainly ain't like Mike. Who is this dude? We're gonna find out. What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of LeVar Ball prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. I wanna give a special shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video, and if you're a sports fan, well I have good news because we have an entire playlist dedicated to athletes that you should definitely check out. Always be sure to let me know who's next in the comments down below. LeVar Ball was born on October 23, 1968 in South Los Angeles, California. He grew up with four brothers and it appears that it's a family tradition to start all the Ball boys names with the letter L, cause his brothers names are LaFrance, Lavelle, Lorenzo and LaShawn. Together the earlier generation of Ball brothers grew up playing basketball and other sports pushing one another, plus with the last name Ball, how could you not? Tina's an athletic woman, I'm an athletic man, it's all lined up, my last name is Ball. College man. <laughs> LeVar attended Canoga Park located in the Valley where he was a three sport letterman. He was an all league in basketball, football and a track star. When he went on to college he focused solely on basketball and he has stated that he stood at 6'6", six six, weighing 270 pounds. He played at Washington State where he averaged 2.2 points per game and 2.3 rebounds in the 1987-88 season. It should be noted that Michael Jordan averaged 35 points for the Chicago Bulls that same year or season. One season, LeVar transferred to Cal State Los Angeles looking for more game time and played alongside some of his bros. Simultaneously, he was studying criminal justice and had the backup plan of becoming a US Marshal. It was at Cal State where LeVar first spotted his future wife Tina, who was a basketball player herself and it was love at first sight. Her blonde hair, her blue eyes and the genetic possibility of breeding with a woman who stands at 6 foot, well it really got him excited. I'm not even kidding, he boasted that he was into her for her length. Right, that clip worked out way too well, I mean the giant's name was Tina. LeVar was in love but became clear in his college years that he wasn't going to make it as a professional baller. Thus he decided to switch things up playing one year of college football at Long Beach City College as a tight end. There's a new spring in the step of the New York Jets as they prepare for the coming season. His football career came into fruition in 1994 when he was signed as a free agent with the New York Jets. Under coach Pete Carroll, LeVar played defensive end and wore number 99, but he didn't make it out of camp and in 1995 under Rich Cody, well LeVar returned as a tight end wearing number 47. This was a different position, but he suffered the same fate. Former linebacker Marvin Jones recalled practicing with LeVar Ball and he stated he was a very athletic guy and raw, I remember a very confident guy and yes, he voiced his opinion and was cocky, but overall seemed like a great guy. I know I must be a genius to plan it this way. Unfortunately, he was never great enough for the NFL and instead played for the London Monarchs in the WLAF while also picking up paychecks on the practice squad for the New York Jets and the Carolina Panthers. With his sports career fading out, LeVar switched up career paths, eventually becoming a personal trainer. Tina became a physical education teacher and her and LeVar, well they were wed in 1997. They welcomed their first son, Lonzo Ball, that year, LiAngelo would follow in 1998 and LaMelo in 2001. All of a sudden the wheels began turning for LeVar to have a second shot at professional sports, this time though through his sons. When LaMelo was in preschool, LeVar calculated the age difference between the boys and he concluded that LaMelo would have to start the first grade a year early to get all his boys on the same high school basketball team. When LaMelo turned four, he threw them all on the court and said go. 
He coached the trio, always having them playing against much older kids. He also enrolled them in flag football when they were 7 and 8 and Mello was 5. LeVar recorded their athletic progress and one can imagine that he had them watching playbacks in their spare time when they were like this tall. Two hand cut behind the head. This? Yes, hard. There you go. Another interesting tactic was for them never to collect trophies. LeVar wanted the boys to feel good when they won, but he wanted that to become a normal feeling and he didn't want them to need to be rewarded. He even formed his own U17 squad to star his three sons. When the boys reached high school, LeVar had to hand over his boys to the Chino Hills coach, Steve Bake. But with LeVar being the man he is and only living around the corner from the school, you got to imagine he became a big part of that team. Regardless, his passion worked out and Chino Hills went from being a team on the decline to being ranked number one in the country. Three of the boys would go on to earn scholarships to UCLA and at the time of this recording, we're waiting to see where Lonzo gets placed in the 2018 NBA Draft. Dad got his fingers crossed for the Lakers because it appears he likes to keep the boys close to home. I guess New York did nothing for him. Now if you're a basketball fan and plan on checking out a game, I have just the place for you to get the best price on tickets. Boom! This is the world's largest event ticket search engine. What they do is search all the ticket prices available on the web to find you the absolute best seat at the best price. SeatGeek puts out a 1 to 100 score to let you know if you're getting a good deal or a bad one. Green means good, red means bad. Now because you guys have all been amazing subscribers, truthfully, I got you 20 bucks back when you use the promo code FAMOUS. I used it last night at the Blue Jays game, so um, well, it was great. Go to a game yourself. As for the rest of the story, well, we'll have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCrudden, we make all sorts of videos. Be sure to check out our playlist on athletes. Browse around, hit subscribe, see you guys in another video. LeBron is gonna sit on that.